I can, thanks. Our state's constitutional amendment prohibiting state courts from considering Sharia and international law remains on temporary hold tonight. A federal judge extends her restraining order for another week while she decides if she will issue a preliminary injunction in the case. Ed Murray joins us now with the latest details in this case, Ed. Well, Alex, Judge Vicki Miles LaGrange ordered the one-week extension, saying the court has two very compelling principles to our democracy to weigh and must consider all authorities presented before deciding if an injunction is warranted. The will of the large majority of voters versus the First Amendment rights of a person. Of course, we'd like to have an injunction. However, what we're working for is making sure state question 755 does not become effective. We don't want a law on our books that demonizes and condemns Muslims, and today marks another day where that won't happen. But the state argued that Awad would still be allowed to practice his religion as he wished tomorrow, even if the amendment went into effect today. And a new player in the case, attorney Kevin Calvey, has filed a friend of the court brief on behalf of four organizations and agrees with the state that an injunction can only be allowed as extraordinary relief. Basically, in order to issue a preliminary injunction, you just about have to show that there is absolutely no circumstance in which this law could be applied that would be constitutional. And that's clearly not the case. Awad's attorney spent a great deal of time trying to prove Sharia is not a defined set of laws, but rather a religious way of life, subject to the laws of the country where one lives. And that immediate harm would occur because Awad's last will and testament is based on and quotes Sharia. It's obvious once that becomes effective, a will that reflects my wishes to be buried and my wishes to have my property devised in accordance to my faith will be invalid in Oklahoma state courts. You can make reference to your faith all you want in the will. What they simply won't do is take the will as, or take your religious beliefs as the standard by which the court is interpreting how you want it to be done. So, I mean, it's a frivolous argument, and it's really a frivolous lawsuit. The actual intent of the amendment was also discussed in court. A New Jersey case has been mentioned where Sharia was used to deny a claim of marital rape. Supporters say 755 prevents something like this from happening here. Opponents note the decision was quickly overturned on appeal, serving as a precedent that Sharia cannot replace or conflict with U.S. law. And the parting comment from Awad's attorney to the court today... This amendment is nothing but the product of the merchants of xenophobic fear, and it needs to be stamped out right now. Alex? Thanks, Ed. Judge Miles LaGrange actually extended her restraining order to no later than Monday, November.